So here's how you can install WSL2 on your Windows 11. First, search here, run Windows feature on or off. So this is thing that you need to click. And from here, you need to select three feature, which is Windows subsystem. So check this and Windows hypervisor platform and virtual machine platform. So make sure to select this three and press on OK. This will install the features for your computer. So also make sure that you are connected to internet. So it's applying changes right now. Once you guys have done this, you need to restart your computer, but I will need to pause this video. All right guys, so once you guys have restarted the computer, you need to right click on your start menu and hit on this admin terminal, click on yes. So here is the command that you guys will need to input. So here you need to type your WSL hyphen hyphen set hyphen default hyphen version two and you need to hit enter and let's just say the operation is completed successfully as you guys can see that now you wanted to choose the distro of Linux so to do that you need to view the list first so WSL hyphen hyphen list hyphen hyphen online so hit on enter and this will show you the current online index that you can install right through on your computer so you can install any linux system here it's given here so you can go with ubuntu kali linux devon or suci or oracle so you can choose anything so let's choose kali linux this time so guys to install this distro you need to use this wsl.exe tag tag or hyphen install and the name of the linux distribution that you wanted to install so you can copy and paste there like that or you can simply type it as well so i have done this and just hit an enter and the command is also given over here so you can see that it's accurately i have typed here now right now it's installing so you can see that it's installing Linux for us. Now it's launching Linux rolling and it should take some time as you guys can see that. Now input the username. So I'm going to put here Techoid. Now create a password. And retype the password. And you can see that we have the Linux shell. Now you can do like sudo su. And you can see we have a root as well. And you can use any kind of uh, Linux tool as we're here. So to update, you can type your apt update. And this will connect to Kali Linux repository and update all of the uh, Kali Linux stuff here. You can see right through here. So let's install an app and map tool here. So let's install like an apt install nmap and this should install you the tool the nmap it's 27 megabyte so there you go we have installed it nmap now you can simply hit nmap on shell and you can see you can use this so let's try to install another tool as well let's try aircrack ng uh, that's ng all right so we haven't installed this if you try to uh, type the tool name it should say do you want it to install this tool so simply hit on yes if you want it to install and there you go you are installing this this is about 30 megabyte and there you go aircrack ng has been installed so now you can bring this aircrack ng as well now you can use aircrack ng tool and crack some wpa password as well <laughs> So this is how you should install any tools that is being given to uh, Kali Linux. So yeah, you can go ahead and try Kali Linux. It's that simple. New fetch, just like this. And there we go. You have installed the screen fetch tool. And this is how you should install Kali Linux or WSL2 in Windows natively. And it's that simple. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.